Before we start this video, I need to give you a tour of this room because it's absolutely devastating. We're paying 20 euros a night, so 17 pounds for this. It's just a room with two single beds that we slept surprisingly well on, to be honest. It's like 35 degrees and it doesn't cool down at night, so it's just a sweat pit. As you can see, we've got no air on, but we've got, what's this like? I think it's a heater. Some sort of like wood, wood, wood heater, some ridiculous thing. We've got this contraption, very useful, no chair for it. Yeah, some windows that let some hot air in. Is that it? That's about it, isn't it? Look at this for a pillow, What's, what are we playing at with that? Oh, and the creakiest door ever. It was a, it was a test. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to wake everyone up, we can do it. We you, man? <coughs> yeah, please. Seventeen pounds an hour. That's ridiculous. Some places for seventeen pound, you get luxury. It's out. <sighs> anyway. It is what it is. It's the only place in this town. We're in a tiny town. Ooh. This is interesting. Hot air, hot breeze again. Is that thunder? It's thundering. It needs to cool down. It's like 35 degrees. And it's cloudy today, yeah. But it's still absolutely boiling hot. It's like a... It's like being inside an oven. So as you can see, we're in a tiny little, I don't know if it's a town or city, but it's very small. I'm gonna call it a town called Vurshats. We're in very, very Eastern Serbia. We're still in the Vojvodina like region. So we're still, it's still classed as Northern Serbia, but we're pretty much on the border with Romania. We're heading to Romania tomorrow. So we thought, why not stay in this town for a few days? And to be fair, it looks really nice, it's really peaceful, it's really beautiful, it's like super old school. And the centre looks so nice, so we're gonna... Whichever way the centre is, I can't remember, is it this way? Maybe it's, I think it's this way. We're gonna go and just have a walk around the centre, see what it's like, and then... We've actually got really lucky because there's a... Thunder again. You can see it, it's not looking... It's gonna piss it down today. Look at that little shop selling watermelons. Everyone's selling watermelons. Is it watermelon season? Everyone's just got trucks full of watermelons. There was a truck full yesterday. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the guy who owns our apartments. He said, oh, you're here for the, the rock festival, the wind rock festival. We we're like, no, what's this? So there's a four day like rock, metal, punk festival and in this tiny little place in the corner of Serbia. What's this? Oh, so many distractions. He's beautiful. Look at him. He's like a little... Hello? Are you going to bite me? Beep, beep. Beep. You're very cute. Oh. Oh, she's cute. Anyway, what was I saying? So... <laughs> yeah, you can't not stroke her. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, you've got nice tea. Ooh. Right, anyway. The Rock Festival. How much is it? It's really cheap basically for the whole weekend, but... It's like for the whole weekend, it's like 1,500. But for a day, how much is it? Like 1,200 or something? Which is like eight pounds or something, so maybe we'll go later on and... Have a look, because some of the bands sound pretty good. I think yesterday was like more punk. Today's more like rock and metal, so... It sounds good. Yeah, I can't remember what else I was going to say. Look at the streets. What's this? A larder on the left. It's really old here, it's, I love it. Places like this is the proper Serbia. Oh, the old best intro ever. Is she gonna attack us? We've got that gorgeous little larder over there. Oh, and then there's a kitten in the hole. The, cat, the cat's living in the little drain pipes. Please don't bite me. Oh, you just want to be friendly. Oh, look at the kitten going in there. What's it doing in there? What is she? <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, so I've completely forgot where I was now, to tell you the truth. <laughs> so what I was saying was, these small towns for me are the real Serbia. Like, look at how much character they have. 
like all the streets just have so much character everything's like original and super old school i love it we've passed through places like belgrade and obviously had bigger places but for me it's these these small little gems look at this car again it's for sale this one 1800 euros look at that load of alcohol in there <laughs> the shotgun seat yeah you can't beat them they're all we've been to quite a few and they're all stunning And very cheap. We found like some of the best food and stuff. Food and all the prices, coffee, coffee shops, cafes. It's all been really affordable. What's going on here? Right here in it, I think. This is where we went the other day. Yeah. And it's just peaceful, peace and quiet. It's outside the, the centres, it's like super quiet everyone's just like chilling out and then in the center it does actually get quite pretty busy and like lively so you've got the best of both worlds and you can just you can go five ten minutes out of the town and then it's you're in nature so you're not like trapped in a bloody thunder again i think it's going to try and storm all day and just keep thundering that's what it looks like here is the geezer with a van full of massive watermelons look at that jeez look how many are in there bloody van full of watermelons we've not bought one yet we need to buy one full of watermelon they're, i'm sure they're like just a couple of quid 40 dinar per kilogram which is like 25p or something second hand shop I could share. There's a few charity shops, isn't there? So it's Saturday, so I'm expecting it to be fairly, fairly busy today in town. Look at this. We've got a gorgeous church there. A small little one. And then again, look at the character of this town. What's that? What is that? It's sick. Is that Starva? It's cool, whatever it is. Look at the buildings, though. I know some of them are falling to bits. It's a Sestava. Look at this one here. That's that is a well nice building. Look at the archways at the top. It's gonna rain. I'm getting a really cool breeze now. Look at this though. It's falling to bits, but it's beautiful. Is it spitting? Yeah, it's already raining. So it's only been out ten minutes. And it's already bloody raining on us. It needs it though. It needs to cool down. I know I've made this comparison before, but it reminds me so much of like small Mexican towns here. I don't know, I think it's just like the dilapidated, colourful buildings. The streets obviously helps when the sun's out, which it isn't now, but it just makes me feel like I'm in a small town like Alisco or like a Colombian mountain town somewhere. That's what it reminds me of so much. I can't explain, and like the tree-lined streets you'll see soon, it just, that's what it feels like. There's a summary of this weather for you. The streets have just all of a sudden become absolutely deserted. And it's intermittently pissing it down. And the loudest thunder I've ever heard was just like bang, bang, bang while we were in that bakery. It was mental. It was so loud. What was bang, bang, bang. <laughs> well, it was loud though, weren't it? From inside the bakery, everyone was like. So I don't know if you can see, but on the top of that hill, it's the only hill you can see for miles is a huge fortress and like castle. It looks really good, but it's like an hour and 15 minute walk and can you hear? It's just been thundering for the past hour and a half, so we're not gonna go up there, but if you have time, I bet it's well good, because you'll be able to see, because it's so flat, this part of the country, you just be able to see for miles and miles. But yeah, the G-Wagon there. Look at that bloody yellow car, that's gorgeous. So we're just going to a cafe to sit down and just relax for an hour until it until the weather sorts itself out we've not seen rain in ages oh my did you see that yeah. hope i picked that up that was a huge lightning strike
Wow. Black gone bloody apocalyptic all of a sudden. The cafe we found is like out of town, it's called Cafe Prisha. And for 150 dinner we've got, this is a funny cup for an espresso, but we've got an espresso. Is yours an espresso as well? But we just with milk. Yeah. It's like a macchiato. And like a cherry syrup drink. It was like a deal. Like a cherry cordial for the Brits out there. And then a good old espresso in this stinking weather. Oh, it's just a strong black coffee to be honest. It's a big espresso. Needs some sugars. It's a li little bit bitter. You can't beat a black coffee, can you? Alicia's betrayed us with the milk. I thought it was going to be like, you know, when they give you a and she's still playing these no, games. No, hear me out. Do you know when she said you want milk? You know, last time we had it, and it was like a little espresso, tiny, tiny little, 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 little bit of milk. This is like a latte. It's nice sitting in this outdoor bit. There's like a massive breeze coming through, just listening to that natural soundtrack of thunder. Typical. Try and make a video. Weather just says no thanks. This town here has the, the best shops in all of Serbia. Look at this, Domino King fast food. There's another one of these in the center. Look at the building it's in though. The super old building. And then here we have the Kung Fu Panda pet shop. You've got to love it. Vršac, the best town in all of Serbia. Check out this absolutely huge Catholic church. Look at the size of it. I believe this was the second biggest in the whole Yugoslavia, behind the one in Croatia and Zagreb, I think. Don't trust me on that. But look at it, it's beautiful. It's like Blackburn Cathedral, it's like we're back home. It's massive. I said Vršac might be the greatest town in Serbia, but look at this. This looks like the most depressing hotel block of flats I've seen in my life. Look at the bloody metal staircase. That looks so depressing. I think we're just going to have to... Wow, look at the church from here, from afar. It's absolutely huge, it's gorgeous with them gold crosses on the top. We might just have to embrace the rain and just wander around in it, because it's just not going to stop, is it? It's like the sky is just completely grey. Loads of coffee shops here though, it's good this town because it seems like all the young people are still here like they're not just pissed off to Belgrade, it's like there's actually a lot of young people, especially in the evenings. Maybe there's just loads of coffee shops, loads of places to just chat, it's pretty good. So yeah it is a hotel, you can see, hotel, hotel, Serbia hotel, look at it. It might be really nice inside but from the outside it just looks depressing but it is cool to look at, not less. So we're near the centre here, there's quite a few green spaces, like trees. It's a nice green centre, so look at this building, it's Redden. Oh, there it is, the, there's the Domino, the Domino fast food. You've got to love it, how they can just do that. Blatantly rip off Domino's. Domino's is shit, but that looks good. But look at that building, look at the colour of it and the, the architecture. It's all right, right, you know. Little balconies on it as well, look at them. Smart, that. What's this? Oh, this is the, the wall of people who've passed away recently. Popcorn stand. Fancy a bit peckish. 20? Sunflower seeds and seeds. Well, oh, this building's impressive. What's oh, that, like a huge town hall? You can see all the Serbia flags hanging. It's interesting because we've got the old buildings and you've also got like some of the different style tower flats and stuff next to like that building there and then you've got that. I mean if it was a sunny day it'd be beautiful here, wouldn't it? Everyone would be sat out in the, the square areas by the fountains. But we picked the worst day on bloody planet Earth to film. 
So you can still see that Catholic church and the very end of the town, that's how big it is. And I think this, there's, who's that pooch walker? I think this is the like, the centre centre with like the main walking street, pedestrianised area. What is this, a water fountain? I mean, it's just a bit quiet because of the weather, which is unfortunate, but it looks like it, oh, it is a water fountain, fresh water. Fresh drinking water, some of the best you'll ever have from them. What's this? So yeah, it's really nice centre. There's just so many old buildings just full of character. Like, look at that one. The Wi-Fi bench. Wow, look at that. Feeling a bit antisocial. You got your Wi-Fi bench. Nice little fountain. Just look at these buildings though. I hope it's not too windy, I hope you can hear me. That one's gorgeous. Look at that bit at the top, about the spikes on. Got a huge cross. This is this is nice around here. Shame we not got the sun. <laughs> I bet in the evening though it's nice, so maybe after. Just fountains, benches, gardens. There's loads of fountains here actually. Look at that shot, that's a bloody retro one with wooden doors. What does that say? Vulcan? I don't know what that is. Wow, look at that building at the end as well. Everything's so old, but that's what we like to see. Here we have the famous letters. Burschatz. Wow, I think that lights up at night. Well, I hope it does anyway. Looks a bit sorry in this weather. And for all the Mexicans, if you're still watching, got a kiosco. I told you it felt like a little Mexican town. Look at that. A little bandstand. Yeah, there's one of these in pretty much every Mexican little town, so. <laughs> I wish the sun was out. It looks really depressing, but you can imagine how beautiful it would be in a nice day. Oh, you can see it. Oh, we'll have a look at that. You can see that church with that purple roof. That looks beautiful. Is it an Orthodox church? We'll, we'll have a look. So there's a statue here. This is Vrshatz, 1972, Yugoslavian 13th World Gliding Championship, which I think took up paragliding because I'm pretty sure I read there's really good paragliding because there's a there's that big hill with the fortress on, and then everything's flat, so you'll probably have views for bloody miles of all the countryside you can, you can see into Hungary you can clearly see well into Hungary Hungary Romania not Hungary you can see into Romania I'm getting mixed up another fountain here there's just loads of outdoor cafes oh there's the fortress yeah promise you it's beautiful <laughs> even though the sun's not out and it's quiet I can tell this would be a happening spot. This is one of the nicest small towns I've been in Europe. Here we have the posters up for the, the Windrock Fest. Since 2018, that was the first one? No, that's no, where it got, that's where it got big. Ah, so it's quite new that it's been a big thing, but Elektrichny Orgasm, they were on yesterday. These are on today. They're on at like midnight or summer. And this band, Is Iskaz, I checked them out. They're actually pretty good. So hopefully we can see them if it doesn't piss it down. Look at this. It's a cafe with swing seats. They're changing the game. There's so many nice churches here as well. I know it looks pretty run down here, but it's, it is really beautiful. There's another huge church here. Look at this one. I think there's an event going on, I think there's something going on, maybe a, a christening wedding, I don't know, but... But yeah, everything, I don't know, it's a very odd place. Yeah, look, you can see everyone in the suits and there's bands down there. I don't know what it is. It's really nice, but look how old it is, you can see it's full, that's, it's gonna, it's gonna fall to pieces soon, this. But yeah, it's really nice, it's an orthodox church. I, I think it is. So this town is just full of churches like this. You can see them just like dotting the, the skyline. Call it a skyline. <laughs> it's not a skyline, it's a little town. Oh, there's a car. They've all got surf flags hanging out. 
our fund is ridiculous, but with the first shots, just surprise and surprise and surprise. I don't know what this building is, but it's it's gorgeous. That looks like a bloody um, snake or like a some sort of reptile. Look at the roof. It's like reflecting. It's like bright emerald green. It's beautiful. I mean, there's orthodox crosses on the top, but I don't know what this building is. So sorry. And I don't have any internet to find out, but it's extremely beautiful, isn't it? Got there, they've got this on one side of the road and then that on the other side. I'm saying that this is one of the greatest towns in Serbia. It's bloody beautiful. They're honestly, one of the most beautiful we've been. It's just so weird. It's just... This is the real Serbia. I wish you knew what it was. I just saw some people and they didn't have a clue. The last church I promised, the Holy Salvation Church, Surkvat Spatsa. It's got like purple roofs, that nice like brickwork, and there's a nice painting in the back. Last one I promise. It's really nice. But yeah, what I was saying was, it's like a time capsule. Here. Like the architecture's just it's been left how it is. Like it's not been like refurbished. Everything's still like a bit crumbling to bits, full of character. You can see around. Look at the buildings down there. But for me, it's, it's like a bloody Pueblo Magico in Mexico again. It's gorgeous. One of my favourites I've been in Europe and definitely in Serbia anyway. This and Sombor are like, just like, God level. I think that's about it though, from the town. Maybe we'll see if we go to the rock fest. Or if we have some more food, other than that. That's it from Burschatz. So literally across the road from the church, I'll take the camera off. He started pissed it down again. We found this well good local spot. Super busy. It's like a cantina style, you just pick your own food. We've got a tilicha chorobar, I don't know what that is. What does it taste like? Like vegetable soup. Vegetable soup maybe. Bread. Mine was 450, how much was that? Like this Oh, look at this lemonade we've got. Do you want me to do the honours? Look at the colour of this. That was like the stuff dreams are made of, doesn't it? This one's like lime. It's crack. Wow, that's sweet. That's one of my favourites. That's well good. Look at it. So I've got some paprika and red peppers. I don't know what they're in. Looks like garlic and a bit of herb salad. Got a Georgia a schnitzel, which is like breaded meat, schnitzel, and just a sausage. But yeah, so I don't know how much it is. I'll whack it on screen. But yeah, cheap, the local food. So we'll try these. The Cara Georgia a schnitzel. You can see. I don't know if it's chicken or pork. We'll find out. But it's got some sort of like cheese or cream, something in. Cheese. Surprising they're alright. Sausage smells spiced like a trip, so you can see it's like fatty, juicy, and red. Mm. That's a good sausage. Needs like some mustard. Well good. Really fatty. And then. Where I finished chewing. The piece de resistance. The red pepper with the garlic, minced garlic, herbs. I'm glad I got two of them. Well good. It's really garlicky. Really, like it's got big chunks of garlic on. Delicious. Then we got this little jug of water that you just get from the fridge. It's a good spot, this. I love places like this. I wish there was places like this. That. What is that? It tastes like something I've had before. Something really bad for you from being a kid, but it's got the colour of it. Well, good spot. I don't know the name. It's good though. I've just cracked this. It tastes like a. What are they called? Like an ice pot, the British ice pot. And when you melt it and you drink the last bit, that's what it tastes of. In other words, it's bloody crack. 
Yeah, yeah look at this bloody it's shit. It's a wild cat. It's a big cat. Look at that beast. It's massive, it's like fluffy isn't it? It's strange that. It attacks, look at its tail, it's like a skunk. When you thought it couldn't get any better, look at this for a building, a radio TV service. Look at that, it's been bricked up. Wow. This is the type of buildings you can see in Brother Shads. These are the scenes at sunset here. It's not stopped raining the entire day, it's been thunder raining just on and off pretty much the entire day. So I don't know if we're even going to make it to the bloody Wind Rock Fair. But look, everything's lighting up. I'm just going to go for some tea, some food. And that's it. Who knows? Check this spot out we found. It's the bloody Yuga. Proper Yugoslavian throwback, this, isn't it? Look at that. Is that a time warp or what? Look at it. So here we are in these bloody Yuga. I've actually ordered Galecci Batak, I don't know what that is, we'll see when it comes. Felicia's got a pizza. And look at this. Look at this packaging. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> it actually doesn't look too bad, the pizza, does it? Mm, it pretty good. What's okay. something like ham, mushroom, mushroom. olive. Olive. Oh, it's hot. Yes, it's just quite fresh with that. The base is nice. It's got a bit of oregano on there, too. That's surprisingly good. It's just all the old women in there. Look at that. Mm. The cheese is like Serbian cheese. It's quite strong. It's not mozzarella. Let's see what Pilecci Batak is. So I thought I'd ordered some sort of like breaded cheesy chicken thing, but I've actually, I think it's just, I don't think it's breast, I think it's just chicken like leg chicken and thigh. bits. Like chicken thigh maybe. It's a nice I've bread. Got a few it's dips on nice it. It's nice. The bread's really good. It's like soft and spongy. It, it looks quite nice actually. Not what I wanted, but who cares. I just tried to the chicken, it's actually really good. Fresh off the grill, it's got the grilled chars on it. Good. What's the review? Chicken thigh. Chicken thigh, yeah, that's good. As long as it's not breast. Not dry. Oh, it's alright. Chicken thighs are nice, the juice it. This is a good bar from the Yuga in Burshatz. This is it, the end of the video. I don't know if we went to the rock fest or where. It's pissing it down. It's pissing it down. Anyway, ciao.